The last of the injection techniques that we're going to show is intradermal injection. Now, you can see what I have here is a very small uh, syringe, uh, usually because you're just doing very small amounts intradermally. You'll be doing a half cc, one cc, usually not more. It's very hard to get uh, more than one cc into a blood intradermally. I also have a very small needle here. You want a 25, 26 gauge needle because we're actually putting this into the layers of the skin. Uh, now, when winter time here with this heavy coat, it would be pretty mandatory to be, have to uh, clip that so you can see where the skin is. You're going to tent the skin up, perhaps, and I want to see I'm using a very shallow angle here. I just want to get into the layers of the skin. And as I give that, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but there's a bleb that's arising in the skin itself. Intradermal injections are a little bit painful. I mean, they're not terribly painful, but, but if you've ever had skin testing done for allergies, you'll know that you feel it when they put that intradermal injection in. That's right. So you can see we've got a nice bleb there, and that's what you expect to see. Now, reasons that we would use uh, intradermal injections would be, as you mentioned, uh, if I'm testing for skin allergies, so doing skin testings, uh, and unfortunately in those situations we end up doing a whole series of blebs along the, the neck here. And another thing would be for sometimes from immunotherapy, uh, we're using uh, with, on the animals, we might be doing some intradermal injections with that. The preparations, medications are absorbed very slowly from intradermal injections, and so that's a benefit sometimes if you want a more prolonged absorption, prolonged action for, from some reason. 